show begins. Knight f3, d5. Okay, now the move c4. Uh, touch screen doesn't want to play it, but it's crushing. And knight c3, d3, c6. What to do? Bishop e3, queen d8. d4 was a nervous move and a greedy move. Castles, queenside, bishop g7. Let me play h4. h5, king to b1. Castle f3, b5. The engines are giving white a clear edge. G4, what to do? B4, 94. Bang. The excitement is definitely brewing. Again, Queen H3. Instead of doing that, of course, Bishop D3 has been played. So, yes, the engines are saying, I don't know, this guy playing white, I don't think he knows anything about positional chess. Check king to b1. Absolutely dramatic. b3. And check. That's a really bad development for him. Mate, actually, that sounds hyper dramatic, guys. Show begins. C4, E5, an interesting move. Knight C6, G3 felt like, yeah, Bishop B4, Bishop going to G2. Castle, Castle D6, D3, Bishop F5. So Bishop G5, you have to be very careful what you do on the next move. The engines are saying basically, Rook A, B8, now Queen A4, Bishop D7, Queen C2, A6, F4. But the key is confidence. So an F5, also 94. Put a knight on E5 and F6. The engine's already actually up at six points. G6. Knight G4 and then queen to G3. Queen E5. Now queen to H4. Now D4. Queen A5. And after the move H3, which was played, and now king h7 is on the board now knight g5 with check the engine going crazy so g5 hello let's get it started but i just want to quickly point out that the engine has found a tactic queen f5 rook b8 what did you want to play what are you going to do about that bishop d5 so we're here the rook's going to land on e7, bishop to e8. The rook is about to come down to b2, bishop c6. Knight h7, that was crushing. It's been a long day at the office for all of us. It's over, guys.
and the game just started. B3, E5, Bishop E2, Knight on C6, A3, no, you can't play Bishop E2. Castled instantly as he sees Knight D2, H4, Knight to D7, G5. D4 was a nervous move and a greedy move. Of course, Bishop on G4. What? Okay, you figured out what to do there. I mean, uh, but, and I should point out, by the way, guys, Knight F2, an already exciting action going on. Bishop to C5, the Queen's on F3, right? Queen D7, obvious. And now the move, Knight D E4, after Bishop to B6. So, so after that, Knight G4, and then he's so dangerous, he could be blown off the board with check. The engine says King D2, check, King G6, Rook H6, with check, King to G7 is being given. It, it's just a simple, it's, well, he's not, he has not a great position to be sure, but it's bad when you have a bad position. Check. Still, King F8, it's time to start some specific operations. Knight D5. So, check. The engine analysis is so critical these days, you can't live without it. And suddenly move Knight H5. Draw, guys. And the game just started. Knight back to f3, knight f6, bishop to g7, into c6. Let's play d4. d5, knight e5, e6, knight c3, f4. As he is now playing the move f6, knight f3, knight on c6. What to do? Knight to e5. Traditionally speaking, a knight does not want to be on the b6 square. Tactics with knight b5 even. a6, knight on c3. Ninety four <laughs> blunder all of a sudden and knight c five bishop to e three and queen d six queen to a four b three bishop to e eight rook to c two queen d two frankly and h five so quickly so well prepared king to h seven you get f five bishop on f four e five Knight c5, rook a7 played instantly. 
H4. And now the potential may be for finally. What about King E2? King D2. Your rook, if it, you could go to H1, F4. He's playing smooth classical chess, but uh, King G6. Bishop F3. And the game isn't even th that crazy yet. Check. And the game did continue. And uh, in this position, the engines actually give the move rook to D8. And King H4 was played. And so, okay, the rook is about to come down to B2. Here we have a result. It looks like that game has uh, gone the way of the machines. That is a, that is a matrix joke. Uh, <laughs>